very good morning to all. It's a very beautiful traditional morning. Saris is always a favorite for all the women and sari lover like me, I always love wearing saris and be well dressed. And one of my favorite shops is definitely Kanakatala from Hyderabad. Uh, they call the queens of? Queen of saris. Yeah, queen of saris. I 100% agree because they always have a very peculiar taste in all different kind of saris for all different kind of women. And I'm so glad. I think after two years you're coming yes, to Chennai. After two years, yeah, so I think after the COVID. thanks to the COVID, yeah. <laughs> they've come to Chennai after two years. And I was so glad when Anirudh told me you're coming here. And I said definitely I will be there because I always like their collection. Very, very spectacular, very classy, very affordable also. And and he was just showing me a sari which you beat for two years. Two years. I think that's yeah. beautiful yeah. to make a sari for two years and uh, uh, bridal wear. No, that is. It's a bridal. Wear. It's. Uh, I know all the brides. Please come and check it out. It's really beautiful. Wish you all the best, Anirudh. Thank you, ma'am. Make all women queens in Chennai also. Yes, ma'am. I know. Please come to Chennai. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much uh, Chennai for the warm welcome. This is our uh, fourth time back in Chennai and our uh, business started in 1943 by my grandfather, late uh, Apal Rajagaru. I am the third generation and even till date every sari you see is handpicked personally by me, my father. We travel across to all the weaving clusters of India and personally create the collection and some, some pieces like what ma'am was saying which took two years is, is something we have commissioned the weaver to do or else a weaver won't take that I risk know, to weave it totally. because it takes two years and you know it costs so, so much, a lot of effort go into it. Totally, so what many much of hard this, work. Yeah, so we commission many weavers to revive these old pieces and continue the handloom uh, legacy of India and we have weaves from close to the 40 to 50 weaving clusters of India here wow. today in the thing. And we've also been doing a lot of fusions, mm -hmm. like we're taking Kanchipuram from Tamil Nadu, exactly. taking it to Gujarat, doing Bandhani, Paitani. taking it to Lucknow, mm -hmm. doing chicken curry, chicken curry. and we're doing Paitani from Maharashtra, Maharashtra, bringing it to Andhra Pradesh to do the hand painting Kalamkari on it. So basically every sari has a story behind yes, it. Yes, every sari <laughs> has a story behind <laughs> okay. it. Okay, that's Thank beautiful. You, All the best. Thank you so much for everyone and for being here. Which sari you're up? Every sari. Yeah, that's what he's every saying. Every other state has been mixed in a sari. So every sari, the story is there. Basically, what goes into the design, what goes into the color, why the specific motif is used, what is the significance of the motif. Like example, that more bangdi sari which I showed you. It's called more bangdi. Bangdi is bangle. More is peacock. In that one bangle, there are four peacocks, and that is the most ex most difficult and time-consuming technique to weave. And out 95% of the weavers cannot weave that motif even in Paitani because it is very intricate. And they use glasses to weave because you know each thread has to be lifted manually and woven. There is no electronic involvement in these saris at all. So every sari you see, there is a story behind. What is the color? Why that color? Why that motif? Uh, why the contrast border? So this sari is that Paitani which I was talking about. You can see the front and the back side are absolutely the same. That is what makes a Paitani unique. It's really beautiful. Two years of hard work. <laughs> and the most difficult thing in handloom is you want five saris of one variety. You can't get it done in one day or five days or ten days. It takes, each line has to be woven line by line. It's not like... Um, in a, like a lehenga, it's an embroidery. And you they, make one only, right? Yeah, it makes one. And even if I want to make the next one, it take two years. Hey, only after that loom is done, we can start. That's nice. So that's the uniqueness about the sari, ma'am. Because line by line has to be woven. You cannot do like... Uh, once this fabric is done, it's not embroidery mm. done. It is weaving in the process of the, the warp. Thari, once they start a thari, yes. they can't do the next yeah. thari. They, they can't, till they finish it, they can't do yes. the next So thari. now we understood why <laughs> saris are so special on women. I think it's the best attire, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Subscribe to Vulcan Television. Please subscribe Vulcan Television.